Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. I'm going to show you in this video how to use uh, Camera Bag Cinema's batch processing feature to convert uh, your shot footage into um, something that you might use in your uh, video editor um, and how to do that all in just one big batch process and some of the things you might want to do while you're doing that. Uh, one of the things before you do this is just to make sure that all of your footage that you want to convert is in a single folder all together with nothing else in there um, so that camera bag can process that whole folder at once. Uh, we're going to start by loading a file. I've just got these um, four shots from the same project um, and so I've loaded one in here. If I hit, if I hold down shift and hit uh, right or left then that will load these in order. Um, it will just allows me to sort of browse through them quickly. Uh, so anyway, you can just arrow through that, and then of course you can shuttle through each one individually down here. Um, so once I've got a file loaded, um, often uh, your footage is going to be much flatter than you want uh, in the final project, and uh, there will be some base conversions that you're going to want to apply basically to every every single file. Um, so you may want to add a, an ex uh, a, um, a curve, a tone curve to this to make it less flat. Uh, another thing you might want to do is add some sharpening. Um, there's a bunch that, that you can do. I've, I've uh, made a preset uh, ahead of time for some corrections that we might want to apply to all of this footage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can see I've got sharpen, I've got a tone curve here, um, hue saturation just to get the saturation right, and then a, a bit of a hue shift on there. And so uh, I'll arrow through these files um, so let me go back here. So like you can see this one, if I hit the uh, forward slash button, I can toggle the effect on and off. You can see the effect that it's having. Um, I can pull up my, uh, my scopes, uh, for example, this chrominance chart, just to see how the chrominance is on each of these. Um, so it's a, it's a easy way to just make sure that, that, um, I can go through them all and make sure it's doing the right thing so that if I'm batch applying this to uh, all of these clips, I just want it to look good on all of them. One other thing to note is that uh, since I'm going to be exporting to ProRes, um, this footage will, will have a, a high bit depth when I do that. ProRes has a, a higher bit depth, so you're retaining a lot of extra information. So these still will be able to be uh, further color uh, corrected and adjusted in your in your uh, NLE um, with a lot of you know basically all that detail still there even though we're applying some color corrections just to show this let me pull up this pixel inspector and so if I like uh, zoom in on here I'm gonna toggle my effects off you can see uh, look over here in the pixel inspector you can see all the values are integer values like this one the red is uh, 116 green 112 blue 103 um, and the original footage is an 8-bit pixel depth, so it's basically 256 possible values for the, the red, green, and blue. When I toggle the uh, effects back on, you can see, uh, again coming over here, that uh, Camera Bag Cinema's processing is much more accurate than that. And so um, you can see these decimal uh, percentages after, after the, the, uh, each of the values, so it's a much more accurate uh, color value and when you export this to ProRes it preserves a lot of that extra detail so these these stay really um, editable and you can still do a lot of color correction after the fact so um, uh, so it's safe to, to apply these base color corrections um, okay uh, another thing that, that you might want to do is uh, compare multiple uh, of your clips so I'm gonna hit command T to open another tab and do a split screen here I'm just going to load another clip from this same thing. Um, this one doesn't have the, the uh, corrections applied to it, so I'm just going to click over here to apply that again. So now both of these uh, panels have footage with this color correction applied, and then I can just compare them side by side just to make sure everything matches up and looks good. Again, I can toggle it on and off in either of the windows just to compare. Uh, so that looks good. I'm going to close this so we just go back to having one window here. Um, <clears throat> there are a few other uh, handy things that you might want to add when you're doing this, this uh, batch processing before you do editing. Um, 
this dead pixel um, adjustment can be really handy. You, you put in the uh, the coordinates which you can which you can get from the pixel inspector. It tells you the x and y coordinates of where your mouse is. If there's a dead pixel or stuck pixel or whatever, um, you can add several of these if you need to, and it will it will eliminate that by blending with the neighboring pixels. Um, if you have a LUT uh, lookup table file that you use on all of your footage, you can load that and apply that. Um, these size ones are also interesting. Um, I can set a maximum size so that when I apply this uh, batch processing to all my files, uh, you know, they'll be maximum, have the maximum width, whatever I want. If I want to resize them down uh, to make some basically like proxy files for editing or whatever. Um, so those are also some of the more useful things that you can do. Uh, so once you've got everything how you want it and you want to apply this to everything in a folder, I'm going to hit Command B, uh, or I could do it from the, uh, the file menu, and it says first select the folder containing all the files you want to batch process. And so I just, I'm, I'm already in that folder here. Uh, I've got my originals there. Uh, next, set the saving options for the videos, and this is where you choose the format. And uh, if you're saving to to do editing within your uh, within your video editor, uh, you may well want one of these ProRes formats. They take up quite a bit more space than H.264, but they preserve all that extra detail. And you can add a, a postfix, so all the files uh, will have something appended onto them. Or if you want the same names as the original, just put nothing there. And I hit next, and then I the uh, has me select the folder I want to output it to, and again, I'm already I've already selected that folder. It's this converted folder, and I hit open on that, and then it starts uh, with the batch processing, and uh, it shows me down here a preview of what's happening. If I hit Q, then it opens the uh, the render queue, and I can see each of the files queued up to render out with these uh, adjustments all applied, and I could, you know, take any of those off individually. Or if I want to cancel them all, then um, I can click down here and uh, cancel all items in the queue. Um, then let that run, and it will apply that to uh, all of your footage. And um, then you'll be all set to uh, have a good uh, place to start from in your further color correcting and uh, in the um, format you want, at the size you want, and uh, you'll be all set. Hope you enjoy it.